Do you remember circa like 2006 when Geico had the commercial series where they did the whole thing with the cavemen and said it's so easy a caveman can do it. For whatever reason they decided to have that turned into an entire television series that bombed drastically. It was not popular. It got cancelled pretty much immediately. But in episode 6 of the cavemen series one of the cavemen can be seen playing Halo 3 on the level Sierra 117 and he even yells die Tartarus which is interesting since Tartarus isn't even in the game and you just see him shooting at grunts but that's just one instance of Halo appearing in other media like TV shows or movies and while there's so many times we've seen Halo or Master Chief just show up in different things some of those moments are more iconic or maybe even more cringy than others so maybe it's time we look at some of the more interesting Halo nods in various forms of media One thing that definitely pops up a lot is Master Chief or just Halo being played in the background. And while we're not going to go into detail of every single time Halo has appeared in just the background, we do want to look at some of the more interesting or unique ones. In the television series Big Bang Theory, there was this ongoing gag where they apparently played Halo 3 every single Wednesday night. Hey, it's really cool that Halo 3 was being referenced. It just shows how much of a pop culture icon Master Chief and Halo had become. But it is kind of funny because some of the dialogue that they say in this episode don't always line up like for instance one character yells he's charging his plasma rifle and another character mentions that they need to get a health pack which wasn't even something in Halo 3 at the time it was only in Halo Combat Evolved back then. Also all the sound effects that you hear are just generic and not actual sounds that are from the Halo game itself. But still it was cool that Halo was used and it was something that was reoccurring throughout the series. In The Simpsons we've seen Halo pop up a couple of times in one instance where Homer is playing a parody version of Halo, teabagging included. In Treehouse of Horror 20 we can actually see Master Chief as a Halloween costume and there was an episode where they did a parody on E3 with a big video game convention being called E3. Four, and there's a Master Chief statue which is kind of interesting alongside some other things from Bioshock and Madden. In the television series Supernatural there's even a reference to Halo which is interesting to say the least. Yeah, Master Chief is in the house Bizatches. You all right? Yeah. Back in 2007, a Scrubs episode had two of the characters trying to complete Halo at work, which is a hospital. Now we hear them referring to things like warthogs and jackals when they're playing through the game, but then when we actually do get a look at the screen, they're not even playing Halo. They're playing some Quake Wars game, which is just a really interesting oversight, I guess, when they were doing this episode. We've actually seen the Master Chief show up occasionally on Robot Chicken as well, and in one of the sketches, we actually have Master Chief giving a pep talk to fellow marines and kind of memeing on the fact that nobody knows what Master Chief looks like and it's some clever writing. Also when Halo 5 Guardians came around we got this great marketing ad with Robot Chicken where we see Master Chief and Spartan Locke face off and Spartan Locke takes off his helmet and then Master Chief takes off his helmet just to reveal another helmet underneath which is an interesting homage to Halo Combat Evolved when fans went into no clip mode to see what Master Chief's face looked like and they were just greeted with another Master Chief. Chief helmet so not only is it a good niche reference but it's also clever. There's also a South Park episode where they satirize things like Alexa and a bunch of protesters are arguing that computers are taking people's jobs and someone dressed up as what looks to be a Spartan is protesting against companies like Microsoft. In everyone's favorite movie Spy Kids 3 Game Over when they're trying to make their way through the virtual video game thing or whatever that they're in there's a comment where Junie complains that every video game has to have a lava level and another one of the characters just points out that there are no lava levels in Halo. You know, just putting Halo in the upper echelon of games. Spy Kids 3 knew what was up. Going over to the comic book side of things, surprisingly enough, Star Wars over the years have had a few clever homages to Halo, specifically a lot of blasters that are kind of modeled off of the same design of some of the Halo weapons. It's a really cool nod over to Halo and in another comic book there's even a part where Anakin is 
working on a droid that really does resemble a monitor, kind of like Guilty Spark. And then in the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers comic book series, seriously, it's a really interesting read if you haven't actually taken time to take a look at this and you liked Power Rangers when you were a kid. In issue 28, there's a part where a ton of Power Ranger reinforcements come in and for whatever reason, they're jumping out of what appears to be just a straight up pelican, but obviously it's more of just a nod to, you know, the Halo stuff. In the movie Ready Player One, there's a few references to Halo along the way, but it is kind of interesting to just see a ton of Spartans just running through and also what appears to possibly be the Shipmaster, which is not confirmed. However, we're going to just believe that that's him. In the movie 40 Year Old Virgin, one of the characters, Andy, is playing Halo 2, and at one moment when he pauses the game, you can see a BR pointed at some brutes, but it's actually taken from that much sought after Halo 2 E3 demo. You know, that one level that every Halo fan has always wanted to play but never was able to play. Yeah, just in the movie. Wish we were in that timeline. In the movie Jumper, when they're inside of the desert base, you can hear Halo 3 being played in the background along with some lines like tank beats everything, which is just kind of great. In the television series King of the Hill, there's this virtual PE thing going on and the school principal is playing a game that clearly is a parody of Halo. It looks like we see some sort of scoped magnum and maybe something that kind of looks like grunts, but the HUD definitely looks like it's right out of Halo 2. Back before Halo 3 came out, Mad TV actually did a sketch on their show where Master Chief is brought to a family dinner by his date, and there were a couple of funny moments. So what about your parents? Do you have any? I do. I uh, haven't seen them in a while. When I was six, I was kidnapped from a rat in his two eye. It's a human colony, and ever since then I was forced to start training as a super soldier. His armor also does look just a little bit scuffed, maybe. In the third season of the television series Dexter, he's oddly enough playing on a PC, which definitely didn't happen back when this episode aired. But interestingly enough, if you typed in his gamer tag and checked his stats on Bungie.net, you could actually see some stuff, which was kind of interesting. In one episode of the television series Community, they're giving out some awards at a bar mitzvah, and one of the awards is for the best Halo score. In Mission Impossible Rogue Nation, there's actually a new edition of Halo 5 Guardians we didn't even know exactly exist. It looks like it's just Halo 5 Guardians beta footage, but nonetheless, it's Halo 5 Guardians Self-Destruct Edition, which is pretty clever considering it's Mission Impossible. Okay, then in the movie District 9, as it turns out, this movie was kind of originally put together as a plan to possibly be a Halo movie, though a ton of things were changed and there was a lot of development hell that went on with the Halo project, so some of the props ended up getting used for District 9, and it's just funny because sometimes you're just watching that movie and you see what appears to be like a Halo murder running by, and we just thought that that's still interesting even all these years later. Okay, then in the Disney Pixar movie WALL-E, there's a dude that happens to have the name John who just happens to be in room 117. In the anime To Love Rue, there's actually an episode that has this little homage reference section to the Halo games, specifically Halo 2 with some high charity scenes. Okay, this next one's a little bit obscure, but in the 2002 to 2003 run of The Twilight Zone, in the episode Cold Fusion, which already is the science fiction futuristic type story, one of the characters, Commander Skiles, is playing Halo in there. <laughs> and then over the years, Halo has actually shown up on a couple of occasions on the game show series Jeopardy, with clues being typically related to the software or computer categories, with one of them being for $1,000, it's hard being an angel when playing the PC version of this first person shooter dubbed Combat Evolved, and it also showed up for $800 in its Master Chief versus the Covenant in the first version of this Xbox game named for a ring-like space station. I mean, it's not really a space station, it's more like a ring world, but whatever, besides the point, still cool to see it show up in Jeopardy. Halo also showed up in a question as one of the options in an episode of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. In the Marvel Ultimate Comics Armor Wars number three, there's actually a really interesting homage to Halo by having these suits that very very much so look like the typical Mjolnir Spartan suits mixed together with a lot of elements from Iron Man. It's definitely something really neat to see. And then in the Lil Wayne song from 2010, Hold Up, there is a very subtle Halo reference where he says, shoot you like Halo. Okay, then in the TV show Castle, which stars Nathan Fillion, the voice actor of various Marines in Halo 3, but also more notably Buck in ODST and Halo 5 Guardians. At one point, Castle goes to interview 
nephew an internet millionaire. And when he gets to the house, there's some people in the background just playing some Halo, which is kind of an interesting double homage. In the Weird Al song, You're Pitiful, a parody of You're Beautiful, there's a direct reference straight ripped out of Halo 2 with the song lyrics, you're half undressed eating chips off your chest while you're playing Halo 2. No one's classier than you. Truly some high art by Weird Al himself. The band Escape the Fate actually did two songs, really just being a straight up Halo song with Guillotine and Guillotine Part 2 with references to Spartans and fighting off against the Covenant. It's just straight up Halo. Kind of cool. But these are obviously some of the bigger and more obvious references besides some of the smaller nods to Halo found in things like American Dad, where Steve has a power suit much like Master Chief's, or Red vs. Blue, where in some of the episodes you can see characters that kind of resemble Halo characters. But let us know which were your favorite reference or what you thought was really cool, or if there was one we missed, let us know in the comments down below. Also, a huge shout out to everyone at Halopedia. Seriously, they are such an amazing source for information because they have a really cool page where they just go into literally any instance Master Chief has shown up in anything. And it was really cool to look through this as a useful asset. For more videos like this though, make sure you guys are subscribed. Here's some of the thumbnails of videos we've done recently. And if one of them doesn't look familiar to you, you might've missed it. So go check it out on our channel. All right, we'll see you guys next time with a new video.